Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome to another episode of our Satisfactory 1.0 playthrough. So we're in an area that is not too far from the base. Uh, in between episodes, I was dinking around and decided I wanted more concrete. We were sort of running out of it last episode, and I didn't want to deal with a ton more limestone. So I went and I looked at the map. I built a radar tower to kind of see what was nearby a little more easily. And I was like, let's do wet concrete because wet concrete is twice the productivity, right? We get four concrete from six limestone instead of two concrete from six limestone at the cost of some water and a little bit of power. But it's not as much power as you'd think. A single refinery doing wet concrete is 30 megawatts for 80 concrete and a constructor if it'll let me out is that's not the right button is four megawatts for 15. so it's about a fourth of the rate and this is about a third right a little more than a third so it's not even double the power per concrete and we end up just getting so much more of it and you know then you need fewer power shards and fewer summer sloops if you wanted to summer sloop it which i'm not right now but but yeah so i've got the mark ii pipes now so we can get 600 water into a single pipe with some overclocked water extractors going into three refineries it's a pretty simple build and that gets us a full 480 concrete which is awesome and yeah so we're just going to ship this into the main base and then i'll put it on the second uh, belt that we have available above the limestone and then we'll have plenty of concrete I am unfortunately oh really I didn't let my jetpack recharge long enough between boosting all right so we're gonna have to ship this back to the base and I think I'm gonna do stackables, which is kind of annoying, but the reason is that then we can make sure, I don't know if I produce some other things out here that I can bring them in easily. I don't mind little towers of belts going along the terrain. So I need to measure again, an easy way to kind of measure out the stackables. So one jump, two jump, and that's basically it. So one jump, two jump, that's basically it. One jump, two jump. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Jump, jump. One, two, but a little less because we're going downhill. Oh, that was, that was a wimpy jump. I think this is about it. This is what I did for my long distance pipeline as well. Aluminium is spelling preferred in the rest of the English speaking nations. Well, you know, everybody else can be wrong. Just because more people do it doesn't make it right. Let's, let's be clear. That's not the definition of rightness. No, in this case, I actually uh, have no strong feelings either way. It's it's just a silly disagreement over how to uh, how to spell things. All right, now I'm just going by feel. It's not a good plan. All right, Bordro, uh, you need to chill a little bit with your comments. You're kind of spamming. We know you're there. Just relax and enjoy hanging out. All right, so this is a long belt. I really should do trains. I'm uh, kind of kind of resistant to trains in this game. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're kind of a pain to set up. Maybe it's because they don't seem necessary to me. I'm not totally sure the reason, but. Whatever the reason, I don't really want to do it. But yeah, we'll bring in a belt above this uh, pipeline here. Ooh, 
Ooh, you know, another thing I just realized is we're going to be able to upgrade this pipeline to Mark II and get 1,200 crude oil brought in without having to build anything new. So that's pretty nice. All right, now we actually have to build the belts. So I'm going to build myself a little launcher here to get back over. <laughs> yeah, Demon, the whole aluminium thing is, is interesting because, like, I don't know, it's just like, Normally we have more differences in our words for things and nobody cares, but because these two words are so close and it feels weird that how did we even get to the point where we're saying different words for the same thing? Like who 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 started it being different? That that's the person because at this point nobody's wrong for saying it the way that it's said in their own country, right? Like I'm not wrong for saying aluminum because that's what it's flipping called. And the rest of the world isn't wrong for calling it aluminium, because that's what it's flipping called. But we're talking about the same thing, so it does feel weird that we're calling the same thing by different words in the same language, right? Um, I guess there are some other things like that, but not too many. Normally we just have completely separate words for it, you know, like cookies or crisps and stuff like that, where it's like, we're talking about the same thing, but we're using a different word. Not with aluminium. Aluminium. You blame the French. Interesting. It's not usually the French's fault. Alright. So, oh, this is the one where we go vertical. Alright. Uh, does this clip? It does. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I do this. Maybe I build a stackable right here. And then I go up, and then I build a thingy onto that. And then we go up with that. That works. All right. So far, we haven't gone too far with any of our connections. Um, we are going to have to span this iron. Which is... Small annoyance. Alright. doesn't take too long. You know what would have taken a lot longer? Setting up a truck route. This is actually not that bad. Alright, and... Here we go. They're clipping. Oh, there is. That's annoying. Um, I guess... This one should go under, probably. Downgrade that to Mark Three so it doesn't look weird. All right, carry on. So then we've got another Mark Four belt and another. Uh oh, this one might clip. In fact, that is clipping. I didn't even realize that was clipping. We need to fix that. Um, so these need to be back a little bit, I guess. We're deleting a lot of oil, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Alright, 
That just barely avoids the cliff edge. Let's see if the belt can make it that far. I think pipelines might be able to go further than belts, so... Well, so far, so good. I guess they would be smart if they designed the game so that they can go the same distances. Let's see if that is indeed the case. Alright. It might actually work out. It looks to be working out. I'll take it. And then this is where we want to be. So the limestone is going in there. I'm just going to have the... Uh, what you gonna call it? Come in above that. The concrete. Alright. So there we go. We got a nice full belt of the reet. And I just need to distribute it to where it gets used. Which doesn't start until... Well, actually, it starts right here, annoyingly. So what I probably need to do... Hmm. need to put a, a merger onto this. Hmm. It's the easiest way. Probably like a merger here with a ceiling mount there. And then we bring it over like that. Probably. So we'll plop a splitter here, and then we need to go up. This is inconvenient. Chandelier is French word for candle holder. Yeah, there are a lot of French words that define what we call things. But see, the problem with this is I'm going to bonk my head, or at least it feels that way. So... Hmm. But then a ceiling mount on the glass is too high. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe we can make this work. Does this look bad? Uh, no. It avoids clippage. Okay. I accept. I accept your offer. Alright, so what that does is then that makes sure we have plenty of uh, concrete for our steel beams. Because that's where that's going. And then I think I'm actually going to remove, you know what? I'm just going to remove the connection altogether. For the concrete we're making here, that I'll just leave on a belt. That's a splitter. Now, we shouldn't be using a full belt ever, right? I mean, at the beginning, it's filling up the manifold, but I'm pretty sure... The, the recipe is three to five, eh? Yes, eh. So that means we will eventually be using a full belt of steel ingots and three fifths of a belt, which is gonna leave us with whatever three fifths of 480 is. Or I guess two fifths. So I'll be left with 192 
if we're using and creating a full belt of pipes, which it looks like we're not quite there. The manifold has to fill with concrete. Um, so then at that point, I think I'm pretty safe to... Splitter. Uh-oh. That is connected to there, I think. So I'll split off of this top one. And then we'll have to merge down onto this one. Which, I don't know how much space I'll need. Yeah, that works. Okay. So now all the concrete's on one belt again. And I don't think I'm gonna need the second belt. I guess it depends on how many pipes we're making. If I'm not making very many pipes, I could be limiting my throughput by doing this. Um, but we'll deal with we'll deal with that problem later when we get to it. For now, we should be seeing a lot more pipes. Why am I not seeing a lot more pipes? I guess a lot of them are going to make encased beams. So that's not a full belt. The pipes should be a full belt by now, shouldn't they? We're not making frames. Oh, I guess we are making some frames. Okay. Because the pipes should basically be a full belt, but we're still not seeing a full belt of pipes. Why is that? Are we not getting a full belt of steel? I don't think the steel's going anywhere else, is it? Uh, uh oh. Our belt of concrete isn't full. Oh, that's because half of it's getting carried forwards. Oh, I need a priority. I need a smart splitter. Um, be smart with you. You can't upgrade on them, can you? That's a bummer. So we want right output to be any, and you need to be overflow. Okay, there we go. That's what I need to do. So then we'll make sure we're getting enough concrete for the steel pipes, and then the extra two-fifths of the belt will end up overflowing. Two-fifths or more if we're making less pipes. But that should resume faster production here. Let me make sure this is all working properly, but it should be. Oh, the manifolds have to fill with concrete, which takes a year. You know what I could do to help speed things up is just fill up these stacks with concrete see the results a little faster. Alright. Now we're now we're cooking. This is much closer to a full belt. And it should be an actually full belt. Um at this point. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's very satisfying to watch. Watching all the pipes whiz by. Cool. Alright, 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 alright. So, then we've got more pipes that should be arriving here. This is making encased beams. And 
And those are all getting used for heavy modular frames. Cool, cool, cool. I'm a bit concerned about still not having a lot of concrete. We just added so much concrete to the system. What's going on here? This is a full belt of limestone. So we're getting a third a belt, which is 160, plus whatever we just calculated, 192. Hmm. I guess we're not getting the overflow yet. Yeah, we're not getting the overflow yet. We should see this overflow soon. And then that'll be better. Okay. I'm happy with that. Now we can start thinking about... Do I need anything else, or can we go to aluminum? Aluminum. Ooh, computers are backed up. Nice. I didn't think that would happen so fast. It feels like that was so quick. Um, so I'm going to remove these down to be normal. Not... Oops. Not overclocked and not slooped manufacturers. Turn these back on. And then... Crash some random stuff. Alright, Boxite. Where are you at? Oh, I haven't researched it yet. I guess we need to do that. Ah, the belts crossing the land, like arteries. Arteries for my factory. Alright. How many points do we have, by the way? We have 64 points? That's pretty good. Let's throw some more computers in there. I couldn't have grabbed those in the first place. Computers are pretty good. I could just sink all the computers I'm making. <laughs> All right, here we go. I should research rails, probably, and then bauxite refinement. So that's a lot of motors encased me. The problem is so many stacks. You know what will help me a little bit? I'm going to go ahead and make... I'm going to do the upgrade for the next level of... Uh, what's it called? D Dimensional Depot Stacks. Or should I do the rate upgrade? The rate upgrade will give me another 60 a minute, which is kind of a stack for most items already. So maybe maybe the rate upgrade would serve me better. I need 150 fluctuators though, which is kind of a lot. So maybe we'll need to come back to this after a minute. Because I don't have enough reanimated SAM. Yes. All right, uh, so monorail, let's get that going. I got rid of the motors that were on the second floor of this building, unfortunately. So this is kind of a moot, a moot thing. Might as well deconstruct that. Dimension depot, it's not doing anything. Um, so motor, boom, boom, boom. Encased beam, boom, boom, boom. Steel beam, boom, 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 steel pipe. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to wait a minute on those. And then, I actually, no, I can just grab. Grab the beams. Get rid of some random stuff. I need to put away, I have hog remains for unknown reasons. I swear I didn't go on a homicidal, hogicidal rampage. <laughs> it wasn't me. All right. 200 more beams, a few more pipes. And then the slugs, we will produce maximum, 
Maximum shortage here. Shortage? <laughs> that sounds that sounds different than what I meant it to sound like. <laughs> uh, all right. Select recipe. Power shard two. Some yellow. And a blue. Alright. Power shards accomplished. How many? I've got, I think, 250. I think there's 100 in here, right? There's 145 in here. Okay, well, there's a bug. That's gonna be bothering me. If you see me clap, that's why. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and grab the rest of our beams. Oh, we don't have enough, see? And then I'm gonna need more for the... for the... aluminium. Maybe I should just call it alumina, because that's mostly what we make. Uh, we don't need more beams for this, but we do need a lot more motors. So... I will have to go grab motors. gonna knock out no I guess I have this wall right here open. I just need to use that more often. So we'll grab some motors. And we need five stacks. And then I might as well grab them from here. Two stacks of poopers, two stacks of frames, and some eabies. Eabio. Oh, these are not backed up. Are you backed up? A little bit. Well, I guess we'll have to let the depot do its thing. I just love the way the inside of this factory floor looks. I, I'm really happy with the visual. It looks so busy, and I love how busy it looks, because it feels very, very real factory-ish. Also, riding the people mover is just satisfying. You could say it's satisfactory, even. Oh yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Alright, now we should be seeing... Uh-oh. Now this is problematic. Also, that's problematic. There's clippage right there. Um, I can deal with the clipping pretty easily. These just need to go up higher. Um, we will go all the way up to that little ceiling. The glass ceiling, you could call it. Um, and then hopefully that gets us high enough. And yeah, why are we not getting a full belt? That's really weird. I designed this to be 480 of the good stuff. And that is certainly not 480. All right. So for long distance flight, we want liquid biofuel. Oh, we're gonna have Mark V launchers so soon. That's gonna be amazing. But yeah, what's going on here? Curious. Is it water? Do I not have enough water? Maybe I don't have enough limestone. I thought I got the right number. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm realizing I'm a dummy. I definitely didn't get the right number. Because this is a full belt, 480. 
And I didn't do 480 for a second belt. I did 120. Why did I think I only needed 600 a minute? Because 600 a minute is not going to be enough. Wait. Six to... Wait, 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 wait. We need 720. We need 480 times 1.5. So, I need 240 on this belt, and I don't think I'm getting 240. I think this is 120. That's the problem. Yeah, there we go. So crank that up to 240, and that should fix all of our problems. And... And these need 240 exactly, so now I don't even need... I don't even need that belt or this belt. I can just go directly... Uh, into one building from the one. And then this will be... into two buildings. What's up, Jacob? How goes it? Oh, now the water's a problem? Now the water shouldn't be a problem. Oh my god, the water. Oh, okay. So, when we were seeing that belt, I thought it looked more than not full enough. Like, if I was only missing 120 out of 720, that's five sixths, right? Or something uh, that I should have had. And it didn't feel like I had five sixths. It felt like I only had about half the belt of concrete. That's because I freaking forgot to make all my pipes marked. Uh, okay. So if we upgrade all these pipelines, that should get things flowing properly. I think. But yeah, that's certainly certainly explains the problem. And those can be Mark 1s on the bottom, because that's plenty. Alright, flow rate 600 a minute, beautiful. Alright, I'll give this a minute just to kind of make sure everything's working. We should see that percentage. In fact, let me restart them, and we should see that percentage stay at 100. If it doesn't, we have problems. And we should see this belt be full, which it's not, so that means we still have problems. Maybe. We'll give it a second. I did just turn them off. Okay, good. Full belt. Please stay full. Please stay full. Stay full for me, baby. What's up, Strudel? <laughs> Curses to past Crydax. Alright, that looks like a full belt. Oh, clippage. What am I doing? Who am I? What have I done with Crydax? What is this nonsense? Alright, this seems like we're maintaining full belt. Okay. There we go. I knew we'd get there eventually. Why are these red? Red feels like a weird color for this to be. Oh, because that was connected to the power over here. I'm glad I checked that. So now we're not going to see some concrete for a minute because it didn't have enough water. Oh my goodness. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Hiccup. It could be a water hiccup though. It just takes a second to spin back up and it needs to saturate the first building because the water sort of does a manifold type thing. Um, if this is a flow rate of 300, 
but it's not. It's only a flow rate of 200, which feels a little weird to me. I don't know. I don't know how these work, but yeah, there might be a hiccup or two over the next few minutes, but it'll eventually settle down. Oh, what the heck? It should settle down into full production. Should ban the spam. Uh, let's see, 300 a minute, 300 a minute. We are running at full speed. I this isn't too high of a pipe for the headlift. I do wish it would mention headlift because um, these do provide some amount of headlift, but it doesn't really talk about it. And the connectors don't have multiple marks, right? No, okay. So that's not something to worry about. Yeah, Lunatic, sorry. I, I did know it's 10 meters. I just wish they would tell you, like on a valve, or sorry, on a pump, it tells you how much of that 10 meters has been used. Um, and it doesn't tell you that on a, on a pump. Okay, I can also just deconstruct these. Okay, so we should not have any more hiccups, but there's a hiccup right there. It's probably a water hiccup, and every time we see a water hiccup, it will reduce future water hiccups. Yeah, see, this last one's now full. So this is the one that was getting the, the 300 a minute when it could. And now that the last one's full, these two will probably both get an even split, or maybe this one's getting a little extra. 39, 40, 41. Okay, so this one, once this one's full, then we'll be good. To go. And it looks like it'll take a few seconds because that's 41, 42, 43. I could just turn it off for a moment. And then this one should get full. Maybe? Get there eventually, I guess. All right. There we go. Now we're at 50. 50 and 50. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. Uh, we shouldn't have to come back here again, he says. Right before something else goes wrong. We do need turbo fuel to go up this. Later here. Little tippy taps. Sweet. Why do I need so much concrete? Um, the reason is because we are using a recipe that saves uh, steel for making pipes. And then I'm using pipes basically everywhere. I'm using encased industrial pipe, and then we need more pipes for our, um, what's it called? Heavy modular frames. So, and I'm using the version of uh, modular frames that uses steel pipes. So basically steel pipes go into everything. They go into modular frames, they go into heavy modular frames, they go into encased industrial pipes, and they also, I think they also go into motors. Right? So, uh, basically my steel pipe usage is through the roof. Yeah, they also go into motors. So, everything uses steel pipes. And steel pipes use three concrete and five steel to make five pipes. So, that's the reasoning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Um, I didn't realize we had utilized this top layer for something else. Well, that's problematic. Um, so, mixing belts, bad. 
I'll just delete this one. Wait, what? Is oh, I didn't priority to the side on that. I should have anyway. I'll just delete this here. Okay. So we're going to have to vacuum up that belt. Yeah, sushi belts are doable in Satisfactory. Because you have awesome sinks, you can totally sushi things. Um, putting everything on one sushi belt wouldn't work, but but using sushi belts kind of regularly would work. Oh god, this is going to be bad. Let me... Go ahead and pick up all this. I would normally just deconstruct the belts, but this isn't going to be too long of a distance. Yeah, I think that... That clears it, okay. All right, so that's cleared on this end, and then we have to follow it this way. Oh, God. Um, and these go to the manufacturers, which is very problematic. So we'll clear it from the end first, which is here. Oh boy. How's my inventory? Inventory's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna need to reconstruct all of the splitter lifters from that level. So that's the fourth thing. To reconstruct those. And what I don't know is if there can still be like one stuck in a splitter waiting to go that direction or not. Looks like there can. Is that needed? You can check by dismantling it to see what's on it. So yeah, there's still seven on that one. Oh, that's because I'm rebuilding one. Whoops. Alright, that one's clean. Ah! Wrong button. This one is not... Again, that's the one that's supposed to... <laughs> I don't know why I can do Alright, that one's clean, and this one. Clean. Alright, I think we're good. So now we should have the EIBs flowing properly. And then. I guess I needed 200 EIBs anyway, so that kind of works out. But I'll make sure these are all stocked up. They are, so those should back up pretty quick. And now we'll go get our technology. Sweet! How are we doing? 65 coops? Not bad, not bad. Whoa. Give me that boost. This is where we put the radar tower. I could put it higher up, I guess. We could put it on a bigger thing. But that's that was my jetpack testing grounds. I'm excited to get to rocket fuel so we can test further. All right, and then I know we talked about the turbo fuel factory at the end of the last episode. We'll get there, don't worry. We'll get there. Maybe not in this episode. Because I really wanted aluminum. But I probably need more power before I can go full turbo. Fuel. Milestone reached. Trains are excellent for efficiently moving vast quantities of parts. Train logistics can be made more precise and complex with tools found in the railway signaling uh -huh. milestone. I listen to all my pioneers, often when they're not even aware of it. <laughs> so due to popular demand, I have added a motivational message. <laughs> choo choo mother That's amazing. Oh my gosh. I love it. All right. The main reason... Oh, I can't put those in yet. Uh, do I have what I need? Motor... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I just need 500 rubber. The main reason I wanted to get that going is so we can work on a train blueprint. Um, a train blueprint would be very nice. And it's going to take some work to get it the way we like it. But yeah, let's go finish... Do I need anything else for my turbo fuel factory? Uh, I don't think so. A chew print? <laughs> yes, exactly. 
Uh, I need to be going east. Turbo fuel's over there. Alright, let us travel eastwards. Now, why is our coal so sparse here? I'm gonna go check on our coal supply before we go check the turbo fuel. Because I thought we had a pure node. Is this a belt mark issue? No, we do have a pure node. We're just using a lot of it. Okay. Alright, aluminum belts will help with that. Because then we'll have the ability to do more than 480. And right now a pure node is 240 times two and a half is 600. So I can get up to 600 on my Mark II minor pure nodes once I have aluminum belts. What am I looking for? This button. Packaged liquid biofuel. Should take us most of the way there. Oh, see you later, Bordro. I missed that comment. Have fun streaming. We could also bring in the coal from our coal power plant once we do our turbo fuel plant. The coal power plant's kind of useless once we have a turbo fuel power plant going. Alright. You know, we made it most of the way. I'm impressed. If I jump down here, I can grab some more belt speed. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I got turned around. Clear some foliage while we're traveling. Oops. Missed all the cool stuff. Because I fell. <laughs> Alright, I do need more Nobelisk ammo as well. And these are going the wrong way. Switch back to the turbo foil. Okay, so 20 gigawatt turbo fuel factory is not going to take too much more work. Um, I am going to need... Oh, the blenders. Right, 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 right. Um, didn't we get... I can't remember. I think we got the recipe we wanted. Yes, yes, we did. So the diluted fuel can be made in the blender. Top-notch recipe right here. And then we don't need to deal with packaging, which is so nice. Select that reward. Um, so now we can make blenders to do that. And I should... I don't know how many we're gonna need. Hopefully we have enough aluminum for it. Otherwise, we'll have to do aluminum first. And I will have to make a blender blueprint as well at some point. But if these are 100... God, part of me wants to... Oh, they need four sloops, though. I figured they would need four. But man, a free 250 fuel per minute from four summer sloops? I guess that's not a great deal, actually. Maybe the turbo fuel factory. So, we're gonna need, let's start with turbo fuel. If I have 480 compacted coal, we're gonna need 720 fuel. Right? Pretty sure those are the numbers, yeah. So then, if we need 720 fuel, we're gonna need 7.2 blenders running, which means three overclocked blenders is it. That's all we need. Nice. And we'll need two Mark II pipes of water and only a single Mark II pipe of residue. And so, yeah, the water should be easy enough. That's just gonna be a bunch of water pumps behind me. And then the residue 
we need 360 heavy oil residue from this recipe, which is going to be nine refineries. If overclocked, we can drop that down to six pretty easily, or even four. Yeah. But my blueprints are three refineries at a time, so I might as well do six refineries. Um, overclock by 50%, one shard each. And 360 is going to mean only 270 crude oil is all we need for this. That's kind of absurd, uh, if you think about it. And what are the uses of polymer resin right now? I guess I could make some free plastic or rubber with it, but I'll probably just sink it. Um... Okay, this is going pretty well, I think. Let me zoop here. And we'll probably do... Here's our compacted coal. Right there. Let's do the blenders. I'll do the blenders here, and then the fuel generators might go off into the distance that way. I don't know where the kill zone is, but I should have a decent amount of space. And we'll have to dodge this thing. Um, when did I start playing Satisfactory? Uh, well, I mean, this particular run, I started when 1.0 came out, which was, what, like a week and a half ago? Um, but the first time, oh God. Uh, the first time I played Satisfactory was back when it first came out. Which was like, not, I don't even think it was on the, where is this thing? It was not on the Epic Store. It was literally just, um, I think it was just a download, like you bought it on, I don't even remember. But literally when the game first became available to the public, it might have even been a beta, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was before, was it before the Epic Store? Or maybe it was on the Epic Store. My memory's not too great with that. Did I say three blenders only? That feels... Feels very small. Very small amount of blending. Um, wait, no. Turbo fuel first. I'm getting all mixed up now. Turbo fuel is made in refineries. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of refineries. I didn't realize how slow this was. Um, oh god. Oh golly gosh. Even if they're fully overclocked, I'm gonna need like 11. Ah, that is where all of the, okay. I knew I was missing a step. That's gonna be a big step. Okay. So I will have the refineries for turbo fuel here. Blueprint, refineries. Um, I don't need a ton of space. Should be enough. Um, do that. Turbo fuel. We're bringing in. I guess I need room for extra pipes. So I'll do a little bit more space here. It is one belt of compacted coal. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so then this comes over to here. There's the compacted coal. You guys are all selected on turbo foil. And then we need to paste this blueprint a few times. Oh no! Wait, I didn't remove the nubbins on my blueprint? That's annoying, I need to fix that. I guess I made this blueprint before I knew that the nubbins were not helpful on the end. Load, refineries, X3, 4. Um, 
The reason is because I already have these nubbins on the left, right? And so I don't want two sets of nubbins. Basically what's going on here. So then I remove the ones on this end. And then I can just connect one to the next set. So we remove all that. And then we can save again, overwrite, clear, deconstruct. Oh, I love blueprints. They're so nice. mode. Why is it wanting to build it underneath? You see that? Why is it it's so... Oh, I guess we have to aim, like, at the midpoint? I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Um, are those spaced properly? No, they can go two tiles closer. But now things are really jamming together, aren't they? But that's okay. I'll deconstruct them. And I already forgot my math. I need to write down the math on the turbo fuel. So turbo fuel is... I, I don't like that it blurs the entire screen when you click over here. It's actually really unhelpful to me. Uh, so... 480 means 720, so we do need two things of fuel. What if I do 200 for each refinery? Then I'm going to need 480 divided by 30. What even is that? Mm, does that work it out nicely? I feel like it does. Yeah, 30 times 15 is 450. So 30 times 16. So if I have 16 double clocked refineries, holy crap. This is going to be a big power plant. How much fuel do 16 refineries take? I guess not that much. 300, 480 megawatts. Not that bad. But they're double clocked. So that's like one of our 20 gigawatts right there. Jeez. It's going to be a big, big set of refineries out of here. You too. Beautiful. Beautiful flat ground. I'm worried 16 is going to run into this giant mushroom thing. Okay, so 16 refineries, wow. I don't think I was prepared for that level of insanity. Um, get rid of all this stuff, and then we just connect that one to that one, and then we connect. Now this is gonna need to be a Mark II anyway. Just two single Mark 1s still wouldn't be enough because we're at 720, so we do need to make sure we're doing Mark 2 throughout. Um, and then the output ends up being a single Mark 2. So that should be Something funky was going on there. Okay. So there's six of 16. Let's get a few more going here. Alright, this will be seven, eight, nine. Smush it together. Two 
Two rows of eight? Nah. We only need four more. We got plenty of space. Boom. And now it's just one more? Uh, I lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. Missing encased industrial beams. Yeah, understandable. Alright, we just need... It's so much work to get the manifold set up. I'm I'm literally just gonna build the blueprint again and delete two of them. That's easier than building one and attaching all the manifold stuff, you know, properly. Which tells you something about how awesome blueprints are. But we're gonna have to wait 20 seconds here for those encased beams. What's funny, I spent so many beams building the output belt when I don't output solid here. Because this only outputs turbo fuel. So, a bit, a bit wasteful. For sure. Alright, so we're gonna have to connect up all of these carefully. Can I connect the belts? No. We do have to deconstruct the belt. And make sure we're going from the splitter and not from the stand. Or whatever it's called. Stackable conveyor pool. Um, here. Splitter to splitter. Three. Here. Splitter to splitter. And here. Alright, and I think I already connected the other one, right? Yes, there we go. Okay, and then the pipeline. Should just be able to connect, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Connect, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. This is easy. Um, and 720, so 16. Basically, I can have... I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a 600 plus a 120, or if I want to do two 360s. Um, probably depends on blenders for the fuel. So, what was it again? 100 a minute, so I can get up to 250 a minute. So... So maybe I'll do a 500 and a 250. I guess that kind of works. Well, maybe. How much do these use? I'm going to have to copy these settings. Um, they use 45 a minute. So a 500... Basically gives me enough for 9. And I'll have an extra five coming off of that. And then a 250 is fine. Because that'll be slightly more than I need. For the other... Wait. No, 500 is enough for 11. Sorry. I, I meant 11 when I said 9. I meant 450 plus another one. Um, so 11 and then the other five will only need 225. So three blenders still works so I need the first nine to be on the same pipe is what I'm basically trying to get at um, so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I said nine again I meant eleven uh, so this is where we switch two, uh, no I didn't count right three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay and then we should have five more four five these are the two I forgot to deconstruct all right then I can just kind of deconstruct willy-nilly here. Get out of here. Okay. So then... 
Now this one, it doesn't need to be a Mark II pipe, but just for our visual consistency, we'll Mark IIify it. And then, where do we want to put it? I think visually it might be best to do something like this. have the stand for it be right on this side. So we need two of those stackables and then one of the pipeline. Although I think, doesn't horizontal to vertical nicely snap based on which end you're building it from? Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Alright, 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 alright. Copy that build. Uh oh, I deleted them after the first three. We'll have to rebuild. We can rebuild. Okay, so this is our fuel pipeline of 250. Be here. Who knew we needed this many refineries for just a just a simple 20 gigawatts, you know, is that too much to ask? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of gigawatts. And like I've said before, it's going to go pretty fast, so I don't even know if this is the best use of our time, but it's fine. Do I have enough power shards, by the way? I should. 16 times 2 is only 32 power shards, so we'll be fine. Uh, turbo fuel, two shards, copy that, and then let me just double check. 37.5 times 16, 600, perfect. Copy, paste, I should go from the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16. Perfect. Alright, now we need to hook up power uh, on the outputs. Let's do power first. Power two, three. Power two, three. Power two, three. And the last one. Okay. And then hook up the output pipes. Which two. That was pretty painless. I love blueprints. Have I already said that? Because I do. And then we can hook up the power. And now all we need is fuel. And then we have turbo fuel. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll put the blenders over here. Like I said, I only need three of those, so that's pretty chill. Um, blender. That's plenty of space, to be honest. Diluted fuel, triple power shard.
And then... These just have two pipe outputs, so... It feels pretty... I think it'll feel pretty good if we can just do a double stack pipeline. Um... This works out. Like if I do that one there and that one, of course it's not snapping. Um, still not snapping? Oh, weird. Like, sort of snaps, but sort of not really. Uh, horizontal to vertical ain't working here. That's what we want. But this... This is nonsense. Uh, what if I come out first? Still pretty weird. I guess we gotta come out the right distance. Alright. actually know if he's going to be Mark II or not. Uh, we screwed this one up. Wait, how is that one different? Did I not come out as far? It, uh, it's to here. Uh-oh. What did I do different? Is this snapped wrong? I think that's snapped wrong somehow. Hmm. Is it the... Oh, I angled it wrong. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. Oh, also, yeah, the bottom to top could be making a difference. But I think this was the primary issue in this case. Uh, alright, snap that, and then, yeah. In this case, I think bottom to top and top to bottom are doing, if they're not doing the exact same thing, they're doing something very close. Do the same thing. Okay, so each of these guys needs less than a Mark 1 pipe, so that's fine to use Mark 1 pipes there. Um, the water, we need 250 a minute. Which I could just have coming from three water pumps. So maybe I should have three separate ones. That could be kind of nice. I could actually just have them come straight up. Wait, which one? The one to the right? To the right. Yeah, that's close enough. Um, maybe I just do it that way. One each. And then you guys get overclocked to... Ah, but 250 annoyingly needs three shards. That's fine, I have enough shards. Um... I really have enough shards. I think we'll, we... Why is it not pasting? Oh, control C is not working? Wait, why is there no copy? You can't copy settings on a water extractor? The heck? That feels... like an oversight. Alright. Fair enough. 
Um, and where's the power connection on this bad boy? It's on the outside. Oh, we'll come back. Okay. There's water. I give up on this idea. And then... Wait, I needed two pipelines for fuel. So maybe that's how we do this. Instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So the fuel will actually be on the bottom one for the first two. And then it'll be on the top one for the other guy. It doesn't snap sometimes. Oh, whatever, I'll just go out. Eyeball it. Uh, we need to come out first. Okay. So that does it for fuel input. Bottom one needs to be, how much did we say? 360? No. Oh, heavy oil residue. My bad. Oh no, we only need one pipe for heavy oil residue. Shoot. This is not fuel, this is heavy oil residue. not line up. How do I get you to happily line up? Snap, damn it. Do I need to build a pipe coming out this way? Then will you snap? No, oh, still no snap. What if I delete this? Will you snap? Could you, would you, in a boat? No, I couldn't. Still no snap. Wow, it. I can't get that to snap no matter what I do. Like those are those are normally the the janky methods that tend to work, but not here. Okay. All right, so that's that, and then we connect to water for each of them. And I think that is good to go. Oh, we need to power up the blenders. That's from the back right here. I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist. It, it kind of looks like that's what I am in this case, but there are lots of things where I'm just like, slap it together, whatever, that's more than good enough kind of thing. Um, it's just in this case I like building clean when I'm doing bigger builds and, you know, I'm in front of an audience so you guys often enjoy if I make it look a little nicer. <laughs> but, uh, alright, so we're probably going to need uh, pumps for the, the water. And now I need 375 heavy oil residue Tech should I get the numbers exactly right here because we're doing 11 and 5 so the last 5 are only going to need forty five times 5 225 fuel and these are going to need 
45 times 11, which is to the 595. So... If I didn't do this right. Because... That's gonna be 500. Put two of these. No, 495. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Scared myself. Um, so these are going to be two more than they need to be, but that's fine. Um, so let's get that hooked up. And that goes above it. This one. Let's just try to make it look nice. Okay, yeah, let's do that one. These little guys. Boom. So there's fuel. And we need to bring it over here. Let's see. How do we do that? higher level to come around the corner here. And then we'll go down to a lower level here. say that's fuel connected up. Hey, have fun, Gaming Strudel. <laughs> yeah, we're basically playing Will It Blend. Uh, it should blend. It should blend. So now I just need the heavy oil residue. Let me put pumps on the water. Though there is water up here. Do we really need... No, not really. Yeah, I need pumps. Turbo fuel smoke. Mmm. Alright. Uh, there's a little attachment. Technically, it's not turbo fuel smoke yet. We don't have turbo fuel. It's just water. We have compacted coal smoke. But turbo fuel smoke... We still need the oil and the heavy oil residue. So we still got two more steps, unfortunately. So heavy oil residue, we need 375. Um, what I'm gonna do here is a half foundation. like this. And then I will, I guess, remove the ones that don't make sense. And that one is halfway. No, we can do that one too. Okay. That's not the most beautiful thing I've ever done, but it's close enough. 
Um, and these are probably slightly clipping the tippy tops, but I don't have to look at that, so I won't. I'm gonna say it's fine. I guess, I guess, I guess we can make this um, two meter foundation and then it won't really clip. And then we can still do a four meter foundation on the end, so we can't even see that it's a two meter foundation unless we get up underneath. Aha, uh -huh, see, it looks nice. Looks very nice. Okay, so this is gonna be our heavy oil residue, which should be pretty simple. 375 uh, residue is gonna be what is that 10 refineries if they're not clocked at all so maybe i do six with a little bit of clockage um can you do math in that wouldn't that be crazy let's find out can i do math right here if i wanted a target rate of 375 divided by six. Oh my God, you can do math in that little dealie. Oh, I'm putting that, I'm writing that down for a future video. Math in overclock spot. That's quality of life right there, baby. Uh, the problem is I would need more than one shard, so I guess I'll do seven. <laughs> uh, that's 375 over seven. Yeah. I mean, I won't do that exact number. I'll probably just do 135. Yeah, that one I fully expected to fail, but I figured why not try it? I know you can do math in other spots and it freaking works. So that that was a, a real banger of a discovery right there. All right, uh, blueprints, refinery. You know, I could, okay, so part of me is wanting to keep it all extensible. I could put them right here next to the blenders though. Um, benefits of keeping it extensible are not that high because there's no Mark III pipes, unless there are and I just don't know it. So I'm already maxing out Mark II pipes with this build, so it's not gonna be extendable at all. Ah, eh, whatever, I already have the space. Blueprints, refineries. Okay, so refineries produce towards the smokestacks, so this way. So then something like this, I think. About where we want to start. Yeah, yeah, we'll start there. And looks like other things are lined up kind of with this. Something like this. And we got enough space in the front. And party in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. All right. And we are going to do six refineries. So I'll zoop out what, two more foundations, I bet, would be good. Blueprint, refineries, smokestacks to the front. We're gonna need to nudge it. What was it, twice? Yeah. We get it properly close. And then we needed to delete that belt. Build a new one. Now this one has no solid input, but does have a solid output. Right. Um, this is crude oil in and two things out. So crude oil, I think a Mark 1 pipe is actually enough. Did we, did we calculate that right? Uh, red, Residue, three to four. So if I'm getting 375 in times three fourths, yeah, 
One, one pipeline of crude oil is enough. That's crazy to me. So, I mean, turbo fuel is far more a usage of compact coal, compacted coal, than it is a usage of crude oil. So I'm getting a 20 gigawatt turbo fuel plant just from less than a single uh, node. Not a single node, a single Mark I pipe of crude oil. That's kind of insane. Um, but this guy needs to be Mark II. This is the output of the oil residue. Let's not fall into the abyss. As fun as that sounds. that done and then you connect around to you nice little straight line there this I will just awesome sync it special sync and down we go Close. Okay. And power. Make sure the awesome sink is powered up. We gotta connect the two blueprints together. And then we gotta connect the one on the end to power. All right, now what is that connecting to? We need to we need to fix this. That is connecting. I have no idea. Connecting to the wall. Oh, I think there's a wall mount inside of this. There is. Okay. Let's uh, redo that. So this guy let's just have it come out of the hole. Okay. So I believe now we just need to set the recipes on these guys. And we said we needed 375 divided by six. Or did I do seven? I can't even remember now. What if I just clock it at 60 a piece? That'll get 360. So then the last one gets another. 380. Perfect. And then that gets me 45 times 5, which is 225 plus 60. 285 so we even leave a little bit of wiggle room for that crude oil all right is there a pure node on one of you yeah the one that farthest to the right is a pure node guys we're almost there we're almost freaking there yes i will just shred the resin I don't, I don't have any connections to base to turn it into plastic or rubber. It is going to be a decent amount of re Like, what's the amount of resin we'll actually be getting? It's worth remembering if we run out of rubber and plastic in the future. Um, what am I making? Heavy oil residue. Alternate. So if I'm doing... Can I type 500? No, sadly you can't math out the numbers like a production line. It does max out at the 250. Um, I guess you could divide it by 10 to get a good ballpark for what the other numbers are. So like if I know I'm doing 375, I could do 37.5. And then that means I'm getting 187 per minute polymer resin. Um, which... I mean, that's only 90 rubber or a third as 
third of it can be plastic or half of it can be rubber. So that's not that much rubber or plastic I'm throwing away. Doesn't seem too big of a deal. Uh, where are you? Oil extractor. I think this is the pure node. Yes, 240 crude. Go to the full 300. And easy. Oops. I was trying to hit Z, which is my sprint hotkey. Alright, so then that oil needs to get over there. So. I'll just be bringing it along the ground to start. the water. I'm gonna need to build stackable supports. Which I don't like the look of. So I do the regular conveyor poles and then the pipes on top of that. It just looks weird to have disconnected stackable pipe supports to me. I want to keep it at roughly the same level, though. Probably too far. That probably doesn't reach. Yeah, not even close. Alright. So... Something like this. No, connect to the back, please. part, best part, is that pipes are omnidirectional. So even though my blueprints are always in from the back left out to the front left. Oh, wait, I guess this is in, in from the back left. Never mind. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking I needed the input over there, even for the belts, but that's just not true. So that means the output is not normally coming out here, but I can pull the output here because it's fluids. Anyway, I'm glad I didn't have that backwards. I'm probably gonna need... I'm actually not sure. Yeah, we need a pump. We need a pump. Let's make sure this one... So as soon as you see a pipe that's 100% full, that means the, the pump is not needed on that pipe, right? But once you see a pipe that's not 100% full, once everything's at steady, that means that is the section where you need a pump. So I'm just going to put it right here. I don't need that much head lift that I need to min-max it or anything. And then we'll connect... Maybe I'll just connect directly like this. Well, if I'm going to do it that way, why not just connect like this? Okay. Alright, so there is oil coming in. And... I think... Is it just skipping over this? Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. The input's on the back here. I thought that... Okay, so I did this stage right. Okay, that's good. I was worried I did all these wrong. <sighs> okay, at least I didn't do all those wrong. Um, okay, this is, 
easy enough to fix. Uh, I'm deciding if I want to just go with it or flip them back around. I think I'll flip them back around. It won't be that hard to rebuild. <laughs> Whoops. That was a bit of a mistake here. Okay. Let's try again. Blueprint, refinery. So then the output isn't on the smokestack side. Because on this one, the output's pointing towards me. Yeah, the smokestack side is the back of the refinery. Okay. So I want it like this. This is actually correct. Yeah, pay more attention to that in the future, right, X? You can also look at these, right? That's a little arrow, so that's the output. And then the three little lines is the input. That's true on assemblers and such as well. Uh, so if I had checked that before I built the blueprint, we would have been fine, but I didn't check that. So we weren't fine. All right, this is perfect. And then I need the blueprint again. Oh my God. I just realized we're at an hour and 41 minutes for the YouTube recording. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I got so out of hand, didn't I? Oh well, it's fine. At this point, we can't not finish the turbo fuel factory, right? Right. We shall finish. All right, so now the power's on the wrong end. Um, so now the power's over here. to connect that up. Um, the output's still coming out the same spot because it's rotational somehow. Um, and then this is the input now, which will be oil. And then you're making Alternate for heavy oil residue. We need to paste those. This last one, though, has an extra. Or I guess that's the first one. Okay. Paste, paste, paste. And then finally... Ah! Hook up the power. All right, that should do it. Oh, and then hook up the power between the two blueprints. All right, you guys running? I see oil. Filling it up. Very slowly. Why is it so slow? It'll catch up. The flow rate's 300, so we should be fine. There we go. Sweet! All right, we should see some polymer resin. Yep, showing up here. And then... Uh, we didn't connect the oil between the two, so that's why those aren't running. There we go. It must skip over these pretty quickly. Or it's just not... I don't know what it's doing. I guess it's filling... Filling up the pipes first? I don't totally know. Oh, did I forget to overclock the... No, it says the flow rate's 300. We're good. It's just filling up a bunch of random segments first, probably. It'll get there. All right, so then that output is not quite connected to anything. That's the last thing we should need here. Is one of and then this does need to be a mark II pipe at least technic i could probably have it be mark three for a while but i don't know if that 
create some jank or not. So we'll just make it all Mark III once we get past the connectors. And then you, and that should be it. If we did it right, everything is now good to go. We should see the blender firing up here. Mmm, delicious. Yummy, yummy water mixed with oil. Gets us some diluted fuel. And that's going into these pipelines. Nice. They're both, both moving. And then that's coming around to this side, making turbo fuel. Heck yes, baby. All right, so now we will have to call it quits for the episode. Uh, if you're here live, we will keep going. Don't you worry. Uh, and we'll get set up the uh, the actual turbo, or not turbo fuel, but just the fuel generators we will set up in the next episode. But for now, those of you future YouTubians, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one.